Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Jason Phillips. He's a Simpson County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Jason, this time of year when spring comes, another thing comes in and that is turkey season. And a lot of people enjoy that, but there are probably some things that we need to think about before season opens up. Oh yeah, spring's one of my favorite times of the year. You know, I love to get out in the turkey woods and uh, so those first warm days, they really get me excited, but we're getting really close to, tur to uh, you know, Kentucky's opening day of, of turkey season for everybody, and that would be April 17th. So there's certain things that you need to think about if you're going to head to the woods this year in order to be prepared and, and give yourself the best opportunity for success. Absolutely. And, and probably one of the first ones is to look at all the rules and guidelines and regulations, make sure to have your license in play. But I know we were talking a little bit earlier about communicating with uh, landowners if you're hunting on different property. Talk a little bit about what you need to do there. That's right. Yeah, you definitely, if you've got permission, you definitely, definitely need to reach out to those landowners and make sure, because that's not like when they tell you one time you can go hunting, that's not a lifetime pass, you know. Each year, it's a really good idea to reach out to that landowner and say, hey, is it still okay if I hunt? And then a question that I always ask and recommend that others do is, is there going to be anybody else hunting the property? And from a, a safety perspective, you need to know this. And, it, you know, it may be somebody that you know you can talk with and figure out. They go one day, you go another day. But that's information that you really need to know. Absolutely, because we want to make sure that we're enjoying nature, we're enjoying the woods, but we're being safe as well. For sure. What are some of those things that we need to do before season even opens? Yeah, so as I'm thinking about, you know, getting out there and hearing those gobbles ring through the woods, you know, I get excited and I start pulling out all my gear out of my turkey vest. And, uh, you know, there's certain things that are essentials, must have turkey items. So first off, let's start with the shotgun. You got to have a shotgun um, and you need to be able, typically, you know, 12 gauge um, shotgun for younger folks. I know they got to get a little closer, but a 20 gauge is fine, but you need an extra full turkey choke. You need to go out and pattern that to make sure that it is shooting right and, and, and giving you a good, even, uniform pattern at various yard, yardages. So you always go out and pattern your gun and I do it every single year before I go out. And typically we're gonna shoot number fives or number sixes, some people like fours, uh, turkey loads. So you gotta have the, the gun and the ammunition first. The other essentials would be a call. Uh, you know, turkeys respond to calls. Um, so you can use a mouth call, which is what I prefer, but there's also push button calls, there's slate calls, different types of slate calls, box calls, um, you know, and as we said earlier about being safe, there's gobble calls as well. And male birds will respond to a gobble call. But again, we get back to that point of you need to know who's hunting around you. You know, if you're hunting on public land or you're hunting somewhere where there's a lot of other hunters, you may be, you may not need to use that gobble call. You got to have gloves, uh, thin camo gloves. And, uh, and a face mask. We need to be covered in head to from head to toe in camouflage because these turkeys' eyes are just tremendous, like a lot of birds. They see in color, they can see really, really well. Yeah, and so having all that right gear is important when we're out in the woods hunting, but being safe is also, so you kind of need to cover all your bases and think about all those possibilities. Now, Jason, if we're lucky enough to harvest a bird, we have some recipes at the extension office to be able to help you be able to prepare those. Yeah, there's some really good cook wild recipes for turkeys and, and other wild game that you should take advantage of at the extension office. And while we don't have a recipe for this, if you've never done it before, I would encourage you too to try the turkey legs. The legs are really good, not that hard to get the meat off of, and you know, that would be something else that I would encourage you to, to try this year. All right, Jason. Well, if people want more information, where should they go? They can go to their local extension office or talk to the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. They've got a lot of resources available online. All right, Jason. Well, thanks for visiting with us today. And we hope that you have a productive and safe turkey season this year. Thanks for watching and have a great day.